congratulations uh, to, to have the process done to know your Colorado Buffalo. Just, you know, first off, how's that feel? What's the, uh, you know, what's the excitement level for you to, to go out there and, and join that program? I'm extremely excited. Uh, getting texts from the guys on the team out there, like they're ready to work and I'm ready to go out there and put in that work too. So it's extremely exciting. When you look at the process, what made Colorado the choice for it? Why did they stand out above, you know, all the, 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 the offers you had, the visits you took? Why did you want to be above? Yeah, um, it's the culture that Tad Boyle has been able to build over there. Um, he's built a great environment, uh, got a great team out there, and just the, just where they're planning to go and how they're planning to get there is, is, a, is a big reason for me. It was a really difficult choice. There were a lot of, a lot of really good options there. So. I know. I, I, I know. On your when you look at your visits, especially you had two in-state schools and IU and Notre Dame. Was it hard for you to, you know, pick against those in-state schools, head out of state so far away, to, to pursue something that obviously, you know, has, has you know meant a lot to you? Yeah, absolutely. And especially meeting guys like uh, Coach Shrewsbury and Coach Woodson, like they're two phenomenal coaches and even better men. Um, so meeting them made it even uh, even more difficult decision. Um, so it was definitely easy to turn or. It was definitely hard to turn those down and go out of state, but I think at the end of the day, it's the right decision. So, talk to me about the process. What was it kind of like, and you know, ultimately, what was it, uh, you know, about that that led you to picking Colorado as well? Yeah, um, like Coach said, I, I kind of laid it all out. Um, what was most important to me and where I ended up next. Put a numbering system to it and just went through it, looked it over time and time again. Um, yeah, that's that's really how I went throughout the process, and then going on the visits, just trying to listen and take in everything that I could from that visit, so that I could not only learn about that program but also use it to compare. Um, so that's, that's what the process was. When you when you went through the process, what kind of was your big factor that you know that that you were leaning on the most that that started to separate certain schools from the others? Um, that would have been like the role that they would see me playing. Um, all of them had a different. A different opportunity for me, so that was the big, the big one. When you look at how you fit into to Colorado's program, then how do you fit in with their their program, their style of play, the the role that they want you to play coming in next year as well? Yeah, um, I, I mean, there's not just a spot open for me. I'm going to have to go work and and earn that spot, um, and that's that's what I'm going to go go work for. Um, but the role that they want me to play is that that five man, uh, be be the big on their team and and be able to guard and get up and down the floor and yeah. You mentioned the culture and everything like that. Obviously, Coach, uh, Coach Boyle has been there out, you know, for 15 years, I believe it is. Uh, was that kind of a, a big deal for you too, coming from a program like this where, you know, like you mentioned, everything has been so tight knit and, and, and in, in that sort of sense? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's actually at the top of my list is just the culture around the program that they have there. Um, just because I know that going from here where the culture is unmatched, um, it'd be a difficult transition for me to go somewhere that's struggling there. So, that's what it, for you, obviously, you're going in there as a you know from from here as a, a big fish in a small pond to you know a, a bigger fish in, a, in an even bigger pond. How do you feel like your game, your skills translate to that next level, to that Division One level, and 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 you know where uh, you know where are you most excited to see yourself compete against those guys? Yeah, um, I'm really excited to be able to go play in the Big 12 and compete against like some of the best basketball players in America. Um, well, I guess we'll just have to see how they translate. Uh, I'm going to put in the work over the summer to make sure that it translates well, um, but we'll just have to see. When you look back at your time at Prairie Heights, playing in the, the gym up there in uh, Brushy Prairie, playing in the NECC, did you ever think, you know, looking back, that this, you know, kind of a moment, this opportunity was going to be possible for you? Um, after I committed to Grace and knew that I was going to stay loyal to, to Grace College, I didn't really think about it that much because I planned on going overseas after this year. Um, but just with the opportunities that I was provided with and with the fifth year because of COVID, I figured why not take it. So I'm really excited. For for you going into uh, to this Division One level to represent Prairie Heights too, just you know how exciting is that to, to represent Northeast Indiana and and such a small school and such a big stage? Yeah, um, it's awesome. I mean, I'll never forget where I came from. Um, a lot of people back home, uh, really really close with, really love back home. Um, but ex excited to keep moving forward and excited to keep that name attached to mine. So. When you look at this next level, kind of what's, uh, you know, you go in with one year, you know, you've got one year out there, just kind of what's your mindset as you get ready to, to head into your, you know, lone year out in Boulder? Yeah, um, it's to work. I mean, I'm going out there 
to get better. I'm going out there to play. I'm going out there just to grind, and that's, that's what I'm going to do. You did have a lot of support here today to to see the the team show up the way they did. Coach Moore, all of those, all the the people that were in that room for you today. Just uh, what's that say about this community here, and what that mean for you too? Uh, it, it, it means the world to me. Uh, like I said, like my my teammates, they're not just teammates. That's my family. Uh, my coaches aren't aren't just my coaches. They're my family as well, um, and they're huge supporters. And I know they'll continue to support no matter how far away I am or what I'm doing. So, a huge deal. Huge deal.